Okay, let's share out on what we found. So what did you do in example A to solve for x? Add y to both sides, and you got x equals 10 plus y, correct? Did you get x by itself? Do you have to divide by anything? Why not? Because you have, how many x's do you have? 1x, okay, and we were talking about in your groups, there is an implied 1 there. We call that 1 the coefficient. The number in front of the variable is the coefficient. It basically, I'm a 1 right now until x changes. So the coefficient is slightly codependent on the variable, isn't it? Anyway, all right, what's the next step? What's the first step here? You're gonna get, you want to get y by itself this time. Subtract 2x. And I wish, in my heart of hearts, I wish that was a negative 5 because, like I had mentioned in the example over here, a lot of times people, when there's a negative, they will drop that negative sign. That's the most common mistake. But it's not, so I'll just live with that. I'll just deal with it. Okay, we have 5y equals, and how did you write this? Yeah, and another way I just want to show you, you could also write negative x plus 10. I just want to show you the different variations that you'll see. Okay, and now what would you do to get y by itself? Okay, and so some of you wrote it like this. Another way you might write it is negative 5, oops, sorry, negative 2x over 5, and then plus what? 2. The reason why I bring this up is because when we get to graphing lines in chapter 3, you're going to want to know the slope and the y-intercept. Does anybody know what I'm talking about when I say slope and y-intercept? Have you heard this before? You've heard of y equals mx plus b. This is a sneak preview. You don't have to know that just yet, okay? But some of you are familiar with it. So it might be more convenient to write it like y equals negative two-fifths x plus two because then you could identify the slope and the y-intercept if you were going to graph it. Any questions on that?